Hey what's up guys, Jay here, and today we're going to be making a loading bar in After Effects. So here's an example of what we're going to be creating. Alright, so obviously go into After Effects and create a new composition. My frame rate is 29.97 and my duration I'm going to make that 10. And then background color really doesn't matter. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is right click in your composition, go to New, Solid, and then make this whatever color you want your background to be. I'm going to be white. Make sure it's the comp size. Make sure it's selected, and then you're going to go to Effect and then generate and then a ramp and then what this does is make a gradient pretty much so I'm going to make mine white and then gray you can change it from linear to radial so it'll be a circle and yeah I think I'll go with this then what you're going to do is just grab your text tool you can use any font you want, doesn't really matter I think I'm just going to use a visitor again, which I did in my example. So this can be an intro for anything like a uh, Call of Duty video, a uh, tutorial of your own, pretty much anything, a video, whatever. So uh, I'm just going to say uh, tutorial. Now you're going to want to make your text around 125 just so it's big enough to be able to see. Make sure it's centered. That was pretty centered. And now I think I'm gonna add this little AK right here. Just to make it look kinda cool. Alright, so this is just what I'm gonna do. You don't have to do this. Alright. If you want to add this I'll just tell you how to do this. Um I'm going to make my AK-47 layer a 3D layer. I'm going to go to the, the beginning and click the keyframe. Then I'm going to go... I'll just go to the end. And then I'm going to click the Y rotation. It's the one that makes it do little circles. Whee! And the thing I'm going to make takes it back down to zero. And I'm going to take this to nine. That means that's a full circle. So I'll go back to the beginning. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm just going to lock this. Make sure I don't mess them up in any way. Now you're going to make your second one. And then put loading. And usually you're going to want to make this smaller, so I'm going to put this down to 75. Make sure it's centered. Perfect. No, nope, that's not perfect. Okay, now perfect. Alright. So you're pretty much done with that too. If you want, you can actually add like a, a stroke or something, which is pretty much just like a border on the outside. Let's go over here to stroke over fill. And then however big you want it to be, I recommend one, two, or three. It's probably the best size. And now you're going to want to go to your rectangle tool, or Q. Fill, black, stroke, none, can't remember to do that, there we go. Stroke, none. Okay. Lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. Now you're going to want to go down here and make this is going to be the bottom part of the loading bar. Make sure it's long. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go down to rectangle and delete the rectangle part. Oh, never mind. Alright, you're going to want to go down to rectangle and then add and then gradient fill. Then you're going to go down to Colors, and then Edit Gradient. And then this part's kind of tricky. 
So you're going to want to get something in the exact middle. So 50%. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Okay, 50%. Now you're going to want to take another one and go to 50.1 and then you're going to change that to black so it's exactly in the middle there's no uh, like actual gradient it's just white or black and then what you want to do is go to the very beginning of your composition and then click start point and end point now you're going to take your start point and go all the way to the left until you can't go no more and this also depends on what color you want to be on top and what color you want to use. Um, my bottom loading bar is going to be black and my top is going to be white. So now, let me make this zero, actually. Okay, now you're going to want to go to the very, not very end, um, around five seconds. That's where I went. And then you're going to want to take your endpoint and then just go. Go to the right till it's fully gone. All right. Now let's see what we got. Loading. All right. Now isn't that wonderful? Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do, if you want to make it exactly like mine, you're gonna want to when you get to five seconds. Go to transform and the opacity, put a keyframe, and then go one frame to the right, and then go to 0%. And then go back to the very beginning, make sure it's on 100. Okay, perfect. Now, this is what it's going to do it's going to load up, and then when it hits five seconds, it's going to disappear. Perfect. And now you're done with your rectangle. You can lock that or whatever you want. I'm going to go back to exactly 501. And then you're going to add another text layer. And then you're going to write complete. Yes. Then you can make that bigger if you want. You can keep the stroke on if you want. Whatever. Put it in the center. Okay. Now, go to transform. All right. Go to opacity, the opacity. Go to the left one, then hit 0% so it doesn't interfere with your rectangle. Okay. So it's loading, 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 loading. And then at 5 seconds, rectangle will disappear and your complete will come up. Complete. Now, if you want it to, uh, beep I guess come on and off then this part gets a little bit tricky because this is all about keyframe you're gonna want to go ahead a little bit maybe like that far make a keyframe go one to the right and then hit 0% so now it's off go pretty much the exact same distance as between these two and then keyframe yes go one to your right and then hit 100% again now, it's going to beep on, beep off, and then beep on again. And if you want to make it really simple, you can take those and then click Control C, go to same distance, and click Control V. And then just pretty much, pretty much, it's pretty easy. I made a little mistake, so it kind of goes away a little bit, like that, something, whatever. But anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much how you do it. You just keep adding more and more. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm actually going to put a template in the description. Just so you can, you know, have the AK or whatever. I actually have a, a sound effect in there for when the complete beeps. 
so you can uh, render that out in like Sony Vegas or whatever you have. And uh, we have a video response with uh, with yours. I think that'd be pretty cool. So uh, hope you like it. Uh, leave a comment, like it, do whatever, subscribe. I don't care. Um, I hope you learned a lot. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.